Ready or not, here comes another fortune telling in poker hand analysis as written in my memorable hands poker journal, created by yours truly. Former New York police officer Mike Kozowski was a first responder on 9-11. The TV show Million Dollar Challenge gave him the chance to win a seven-figure score by beating Daniel Negreanu. Heads up. Daniel was dealt King of Diamonds, Four of Spades, Confidence, and Impatience. Together, these cards are a warning not to get cocky and to be patient in speculative ventures. All of the kings in the deck represent the unlucky number 13 and can indicate an intrusion of harsh reality. There's 9,000 in the pot when Daniel chose to push all in for 14,000 instead of calling the $3,000 bet before him. He did precisely what the cards warned against. King four offsuit. We're going all in. All in. Mike peeked to find he had been dealt the seven of spades, persistence, five of clubs, pomposity. Two cards which warned that a friction-filled moment is ahead and advise him to have confidence in the strength of his hand. He said, why not? And called. Mike looking down at seven, five. Why not? You're calling? The odds were in Daniel's favor pre-flop. King four offsuit had a 56% chance to win versus seven, five offsuit. But Mike was getting good pot odds, so it was also mathematically wise to call. You beat me once with this exact hand, the seven, five. Daniel remembering the hand that turned the match earlier. The flop was six of hearts, stay calm. Nine of hearts, good luck. And king of clubs, loyalty. There's a king. king oh, now you need an eight. That would be sick. Considering Mike was holding the hand most helped by the six and nine, those cards seemed to be speaking to him. While the king of clubs implied that the original message from Daniel's cards would stay true. The nine of hearts is known as the wish card and is considered to be the luckiest card in the deck. So, despite the fact that Mike's hand had only a 20% chance to win at this point with a straight draw, now that Daniel had a pair, the divination vibe seemed strongly in Mike's favor. It's it's on. It's Come on! Remember, Mike caught the 1 8 left in the deck earlier tonight to knock out Brian Barbosa. If he catches an 8 again, this match is over. The turn. Six. The turn was the Six of Diamonds, prosperity, which requires patience. Although this card gave Daniel two pair, it also implied that the more patient player would be the financially prosperous one. We go to the river. Eight, eight, and Mike wins! Oh my gosh. <laughs> the river was eight of hearts, healing. Any eight that might have shown up to give Mike the straight would have completed the reading nicely. But, but the Eight of Hearts might be the most poetic. It is a reminder that one must give to receive. Mike had earned his chance to play because he was a first responder, because he gives his life to help others. And he won a million dollars with the card that brings karmic resolution. Look, the Eight is your lucky card! Huh? Thank you. The Eight is your lucky card! So, tell me, what do you think? Would you write it that way in your journal? Leave me a comment, let me know, and please subscribe. I hope to see you again soon.